A somber start to the new year for the 80 people forced out of their homes by a fire. Yeah, this happened last night in East New York, and officials are still trying to figure out what happened. I News use reporter Kristen Thorne spoke to some of the residents who lost everything. What room is this? My room, my bedroom. It was Josephine Sendra's bedroom for the past 57 years, but it's no more. What have you lost? A lot of things. Everything. everything. Pictures, everything. Are you trying to go through it? No, we got, I got the important papers and that's it. The entire building on Shank Avenue is a shell of what it was. It's now several stories of burned out windows and rubble. Residents are trying to salvage what they can. Around 730 last night, construction materials outside the building caught fire. Video from the Citizen app shows heavy flames. Investigators are looking into whether fireworks caused the blaze. Investigators did recover fireworks at the scene. Sandra recalls seeing fireworks coming at her from outside her kitchen window. Then I ran out the kitchen because I felt that the fireworks was going to come through the window and hit me. Neighbors across the street say they also heard fireworks and ran out when they heard the commotion. I see that the, flame. the flames down here. The small one. The small one, yes. I said, oh boy, fire. And I, um, and then in a matter of minutes, that thing just shoot up in the air. The fire spread to 12 apartments. Several people, including some firefighters, suffered smoke inhalation, but thankfully no one was killed. Councilman Christopher Banks says he has questions, namely about why a construction container was placed so close to the building. Had chemicals in there, had objects that could have wood that could have uh, caused the fire. And um, I think that's something that we have to really investigate to see why would why was it there? If investigators determine that fireworks in indeed caused the fire. They'll have to decide whether the people setting them off, who have yet to be identified, will face criminal charges.